City. The director tells reporter Lisa Munoz it's been a huge success for New Mexico. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Ron. Yeah, I mean, it's been a great time here at the fair. I can still hear some kids screaming right now as the fair rides are wrapping up. But, you know, the general manager told me that over 500,000 people have been at the fair so far this week. This year just seems like Bam, it's all come together. Everybody's ready to have a good time. Dan Morning is a state fair general manager. He says since 2020, the attendance gets better every year, but this year is by far the best. Every day has been up over the previous year, and that was a record year at 472,000. Four out of six concerts this week were sold out. When you consider that the entire population of the state is 2.1 million, when you're getting 500,000 people of this state, that's a significant number. I mean, you know, and again, that's really mostly New Mexicans. But Morning says that's not the only thing bringing people out here. You know, it's just more than concerts and corn dogs. You know, I mean, we have so much free entertainment, you know, that you could just for the price of admission. Are you kidding me? We had wrestling. Vendors from different states came out to make cheese curds, funnel cakes, you name it, especially new food to try. All right, Alyssa, are you ready to make your I'm all the ready. Your team? I'm ready to are make it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm excited. Okay. And that was my favorite. One girl telling us she's been to the fair twice so far. I love all the rides. The lines get kind of long, though. But other than that, the fun is really fair. I feel like it's a really, it's like a tradition. It's like one of the bigger things. You know what I'm saying? That and the balloon fiesta. Again, so much fun to happen out here. Tomorrow is the last day, so there are still events going on from rodeo events to even stuff to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. So be sure to check it out. For now, reporting in Albuquerque, I'm Melissa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News.